to my channel little disclaimer straight away there might be some noise in the background there's like a construction site close to us and it's not loud i think they're just unloading a truck or something but i really have to start this video because the light's gonna go down and i don't want the light to be bad so if you can hear any background noise really sorry anyways i'm doing something today that i've never done before i'm super hyped about it i'm gonna be attempting to recreate a makeup look by hung van gogh i hope that's how you pronounce his name he's one of my favorite makeup artists ever i love seeing what he does i follow him on instagram and he's just so insanely talented i believe he's a global makeup artist for mark jacobs beauty as well so i saw this makeup look that he did on emily radikowski in april of 2018 but it's this beautiful like chocolatey smoky eye it's not too dark it's a really beautiful nude lip and her skin just looks really nice and glowy he actually listed all of the products that he used in this instagram post so I already had a few of them and then I reached out to Max Media Lab and they look after Marc Jacobs here in Australia, like they look after the PR and stuff and they were kind enough to also send me some more of the products that he used so thank you guys so much for that. So I actually have a lot of the exact products that he used for this makeup look. Obviously there's no tutorial for me to follow so I'm just going to be looking at the photo and I guess I'm also not trying to like recreate 100%, that's not really the point of this video. It's more so that the photo inspired me to try something similar and I'm obviously not like a super amazing makeup artist or anything so let's just see what happens. Before I forget there's also going to be a giveaway at the end of this video. I'm giving away a bunch of Mark Beauty products and some other stuff so make sure that you watch the whole thing and then can enter the giveaway if you're interested. So the first product that he uses is this primer and this is called the Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. I actually use this a lot together with the foundation, so I'm just gonna prime my face with this. And I have read in an interview that he does like to start with the face first and then the eyes. So I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna grab this foundation. This is the Shameless Foundation, the one that he used. And funnily enough, M and I are actually the same shade because I already use this one on like a daily basis and it's the same exact shade that he used on her for this look so that works really well. It doesn't say what tool he uses to apply this but I've decided to just go with a damp beauty blender. was a red carpet look for a movie premiere so I am going in with more than I normally would and I think now I'm gonna go in with some concealer I've got the remedy concealer pen this is actually the same shade as well yeah because I think I had the foundation already and it happened to be the same shade so I just picked up the same concealer that he used this was a little bit darker than I was expecting and in the photo as well you can see that the under eye area is not super bright like it's not super highlighted Do you see what I mean like it's not much lighter than the foundation but I kind of like that it looks really nice and natural Okay, and then I think he uses the Dew Drops, and I have those, but it's more of a bronzy color. I don't have this shade that he uses, but I do have this uh, Spotlight Glow Stick, and that's kind of a similar color. So I think before I set with powder, because this is a cream product, I'm just gonna use this to highlight. shiny so I'm just gonna set some of the areas in my face. He uses a Marc Jacobs setting powder but I don't think that one is available in Australia at least I couldn't find it anywhere so I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty one. Okay so I'm gonna do my brows next and he uses a Marc Beauty product as well. 
but I'm just gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I use this in dark brown. I also love that they don't look super defined. They look a little bit like kind of messy. And especially at the front, he doesn't fill them in that much. And I'm just gonna set them in place with the brow gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is just the clear one. And I know that Emily loves her brows brushed up. Okay, next up is the eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using this iconic eyeshadow palette and this is in Glambition, this is the one that he used on her. He didn't specify like which shades, so this will be interesting. But I think I'm gonna begin with Infamous. This is quite a nice like transition shade. And he gets the eyeshadow quite close to the brows, which I like. I don't like when there's like a big gap. And he darkens it up in the crease, but then on the lid there's something a little bit lighter. I'm gonna go in with this middle shade. This is called Seeking. I'm having a really hard time with the shadows blending right now. They keep kind of sticking to certain areas. I'm just gonna keep <laughs> trying... Um, I don't want to give up just yet, but do you guys see that? It's so frustrating and I set my whole eye on everything so I don't really know why it's happening. I'm going in with this little shade. And I think I'm going to do the lower lash line now and just try to pull it all together with these two shades again as well. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some liner. This is the one that I'm using, Highliner Gel Eye Crayon in Brownout. is all done as well. I'm gonna go in with the lightest eyeshadow here and just highlight a little bit around the inner corners. Now it doesn't look like she's wearing any false eyelashes and I don't ever really wear them so that's good. But I am going to be doing mascara, of course. This is the Velvet Noir by Marc Jacobs, my favorite, and he used it for this look as well. But I'm going to curl my lashes first with my Kevin O'Quan eyelash curler. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the face now. I'm going to bronze, and this is the Omega Bronze in Tantric. I'm gonna do blush, the same one that he's using, and this is the Air Blush in Flesh and Fantasy, my favorite blush of the entire year. And I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight on my nose. I'm gonna do my lips now and I'm just putting on a tiny bit of lip balm. 
And for this lip, he used a brown lip liner, which I have the exact one that he used. And then he also used a nude lipstick, and I've got a very similar one. It's also MAC Beauty. They didn't have the shade that he used, but this one is really similar. I think it's just a tiny bit darker, but it's also just a really beautiful nude. Okay, so the lipstick alone was a little bit too dark actually, so I added this Too Faced color. This is Sugar Cookie. I'm not sure if this is still available because it was part of like a Christmas set. I'm gonna add a little bit of blush over my nose because it looks like that's what he's done with her. It looks like she's got some color on there. Here. So I guess this is the finished makeup look. What do you guys think? I really like it. I don't think that the eyeshadow is like blended to perfection, but I never really do smoky looks and I think considering that I never do them, maybe if I have any events coming up that are in the evening, maybe I'll do this look again. I'm gonna do the giveaway now. I'm so keen for this. I'll start off with some of the Mark Beauty stuff. I've put it in this little Zoeva case. So if you enter today's giveaway, you've got the chance of winning a Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade Overnight. Two of the Mark Beauty lip gloss sticks. Then you are gonna win four of the Mark Beauty Omega eyeshadows in four different shades, obviously. And then the last Mark Beauty product you'll receive is the Undercover Coconut Face Product that I used in this video today. It's amazing. And then you're also gonna be receiving these two key sunglasses. I think these are from the, yes, the Desi Perkins collection. Then you're also gonna be receiving these two Zoeva palettes. So we've got an eyeshadow palette and a blush palette. And then lastly, you'll also receive this duo from Stila. This is a full-size Stila mascara and waterproof eyeliner. So if you guys would like to enter to win all of this, I'll put all the steps in the description box, but basically you have to be subscribed to this YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up and also turn on the notification bell. Secondly, you also have to follow me on Instagram because that's where I will be announcing the winners and contacting the winners. And then the third step to actually enter this giveaway is you have to leave a comment. And for this video, I would love for you guys to comment either a celebrity whose makeup you really like or a makeup artist that you like, something like that. And then also in the comment, include your Instagram handle so that that way I can randomly draw the winner out of the comments. And if you win, I will just contact you on Instagram. I'm going to be announcing the winner exactly a week from when this video goes up and I think that's everything but if I forgot something I'll put it in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this. It was a little bit frustrating at times and I was worried that it wasn't gonna work out but I am happy with the end results. I love you all very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!